Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of modern craft kits. I'm Moira Fuller and this month is all about bookbinding. And here's the book we'll be making. So this has got a lovely exposed spine, so you've got the binding going around the top and bottom of the book, leaving the inside papers exposed. This is the kit itself, so if you open up your box, this is what you will see inside. And if you open up those little packages, this is what you have. So we've got cartridge paper for the inside, pretty papers for the outside and inside of the book. You've got card for the cover and for your spine. And then this is an awl. So this is used to make holes and things. So you've, it's got sharp points, so be careful. And you've got a cork mat to use to protect your table. You have a glue brush and PVA glue, linen thread and book binding needle and a paper folder. So to begin with, take your cartridge paper and we want you to fold it over. So get the tips nice and neatly together, so across here, and then use your thumbs to even it out at the back. Then use your folder. Now you're going to use this at 45 degree angle, so not straight up, not entirely flat down, but at 45 degrees somewhere in between. Put it on the end of paper nearest you and push away and you'll get this lovely, nice, sharp crease. Now this has a second use, so you pop it on the inside of the papers, so between the two. And then again at 45 degree angle, you're just tearing it away from you towards the top right of the table or top left if you're left-handed. So again, doing this, you get a lovely serrated edge to the sides of the pages, so you can see them both there. Now we do this for all the sheets, there they are, and you can see all the edges, and we're going to fold them again. So again, just a nice neat along the top, fold, and then use your folder to get that crisp edge. Stop there though, because this is the size of the book, so there's no need to tear them. Once you've done all the sheets, you have them like this, and you can see here, I've intentionally put them so that all the serrated edges are along the top. And again, you've got the kind of the crisp edges along the bottom. Now we're going to put these into groups. So pull out four at a time. And then you're going to put one inside the other for the four. Okay, now repeat that for all the pages you've got and you should have six groups. So there they are. Now we're going to start making the cover of the book. So first of all, get your thin strip of card and you're going to mark two five centimetre sections on it. So just do them on both sides. Okay, once they're marked off, then just use your scissors to cut those two out. And this little bit that's left, we don't need that, so you can discard it. Now taking your papers, you want to take your larger piece of paper, so pop the small one aside for now, and with your larger piece, turn it over. Take a ruler and mark the centre point along the long edge. and then draw a dotted line down this. This is just going to help you position where your pieces of card are going to go. So just for now, we're going to roughly place where this, the two larger pieces of card are going to be and the two smaller pieces. So we want to get them central so the two smaller pieces are right on your dotted line and the two smaller pieces line up with the top and the bottom of the larger pieces of card. Now pop some glue on a scrap piece of paper and with your glue brush, just give it a quick brush through to get rid of any loose bristles. Now when you're coating the card in glue, you want to get a really nice even layer of glue on it. So it's tacky rather than blobby or um, a bit wet where it will affect the paper that you're putting it onto. So something like that. And then just place it down on that dotted line. So you're nice and even along the top of the other pieces of card and there's your dotted line. Now, once you've glued your second piece, I suggest bringing the pieces of card in so you can get that perfect alignment on the second piece to go at the bottom. We're now going to measure where the larger pieces of card are going to go. So if you pop your ruler on the dotted line so that it's, you're basically measuring 1.5 centimetres out on either side. So if your ruler's on the 1.5, then measure at zero and at three. And then just turn it around and do the same on the other side. Okay. 
Now once you've done that, glue your large piece of card, again that nice and tacky but not too wet. And um, make sure your desk is nice and clean here. You don't want to get glue onto your pretty papers and it can get everywhere. So uh, carefully position your piece of card and you're lining it up so it lines up with the smaller pieces of card and also with the marks you've just made at the three centimetre mark. Okay, so you smooth that down with your hand and then pop it over and smooth it down again on the other side. Okay, so we've done both sides now and the next bit will be to do the top section. Now I want you to just glue the section in between my fingers here, it's just that area you want to glue. And again, just a nice even layer here just to get it across the paper. Okay, so now we want to fold the paper over and you want to bring it right close to the edge of the card just to smooth it over to get a nice neat cover. So if you just bring it over the edges, easing it round, and then work from the centre out to the sides when you're finally setting it in place. Do the same on the other side and again in that same area between the two. And again, just easing it over. Now we're going to do the sides, first of all, before you glue them, just fold them over. And what I want to show you here is if you just glued it like this, you'd have this little guy peeking over the side of the pages, so we need to get rid of those. So with your scissors, we need to cut the corners off. So you're going to cut them at an angle, and you're going to cut from the position where the paper meets, where it comes around the side. And you're cutting up towards the card, but just leave a little bit there at the top so you're not right on the edge. Now again, if you glued them just as they are now, you'd have this little fella sticking out. So again, we're just going to trim those insides too. And you're going to do this for all four edges of the book. There we go. Okay, so now you're going to use your glue to glue down these two sides. With the brush, make sure you get right into the edge there underneath that little gap and then use your nails to kind of just get right into those corners to get them as neat as possible. You notice it here when you're easing it over the edges. If you get that corner really neat, pay real attention to it, it makes a real difference to how your book looks in the end. And you'll do the same here for both sides. Okay, so if we have a look at the finished book, you see there's this exposed section here. So you'll need to make a hole in this part of the book too. So first of all, grab the ruler and just mark off the centre point. It doesn't need to be absolutely exact because we're about to cut this out. Then grab your cork mat and your awl. And with the awl, what you do is you put the cork mat right underneath to protect your table. Pop the awl on the mark and then put pressure down from the top. Just make sure you don't go through to your table. Then grab your scissors and you're cutting out to the edges of the small pieces of card. Just make sure you don't go past these edges, otherwise your hole will be too big. And do this on all four sides. There we go. Now, these are all going to be folded over, so that's why these cuts don't need to be the neatest thing in the world, because nobody will ever see them. And so you fold them over, and again, just with these ones here, fold them over so you get a nice neat line that runs directly between the two bits of card at the top and the bottom. Okay, now we're going to glue those down. So if you just put a layer of glue on them and fold them over. Okay, now we're going to do the inside paper. So pop it over and again a nice thin layer of glue across the whole thing. There we go. And again it's that kind of tacky but not too wet otherwise it could make the paper a little weak. Now carefully position this and here I'm looking at the lines top, bottom, left and right to make sure they're all nice and straight. So once you've got that in place, just again move kind of across the sides and then really work on it from the centre out so that you're moving out any creases towards the edges. You're going to want to let it leave to dry now for a couple of hours or overnight. So don't worry about this being covered yet, we'll deal with that in the next stage. Okay, so now your book is dry and we're going to cut out this section here. So if you get your cork mat to protect your table again and the awl, you're just going to make a hole in the centre just so it's easy to get into with your scissors. So you'll use your scissors to cut out the hole or if you've got a scalpel at home and are happy using that then feel free. Our next stage will be marking your inside papers. So if you grab those and we want to position them inside the book, 
like so. So you've got them right to the back of the spine and aligned nicely left and right. And then you just need to put pencil marks where the edges are right inside the spine there. So if you do that on both sides, I've slightly cheated and I've done the other side already. Now these are going to be where we're going to be doing our sewing. So there you go, you can see them now on both sides there, those marks. First we use it all to make holes so that we can sew into. So if you open out each of your sections and make sure the pages are still nicely aligned and tucked in together. And then place them over your cork mat, grab your awl and place it over that mark you've made in pencil and again pressure to the top to push it through and do that on both sides. Using the awl will make it a lot easier to sew than trying to push a needle through all those pages. And here you can see the two holes, there we go. And just repeat that for all six of your sections. Okay, to get the cover to have a nice kind of rounded section to the gap, um, just work it with your fingers on both sides there. Otherwise it can be quite straight up and down and this just gives it a nicer finish. Now we're going to start sewing the book. So first of all, just to show you that the threads will be coming outside the spine on both sides. So if you grab your thread and unwind it completely off the reel because we'll be using the entire thing at once. Now this stuff loves to tangle, so if it does it, just ease it out. When we're sewing the book, we start from the back. So if you grab your papers from the very back section of the book first, and then grab your needle and sew from the inside through the hole on the left hand side. And take that all the way through. I told you this stuff loves to tangle. Okay, so bring it all the way through and then just leave a bit at the end. Basically you want enough so that you can hand tie a knot at the end. Okay, now bring it through the gap on the left hand side. There we go. And around the left hand side of your book. Now you're basically just going to tie a knot between these two just to start your book off properly. Um, so just a, a normal knot is absolutely fine here. And I'm just double knotting it just to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, then just trim off the tail with your scissors. And with your needle again, go through the hole on the right hand side. And go right through. So you're going right to the outside of the book. Okay, so bring your thread through and then you see where the knot is currently kind of in the middle of that section. You want to move it right up to the edge because otherwise it could loosen off later. That's it. So it's nice and tight. Now you're just working your papers down to the bottom because again we're working from the bottom up. Bring your thread around the right hand side of the spine and then put your thread back through the right hand hole. Now this time we're not coming out of the book, we're staying inside the cover. Okay, once your thread's through, at every stage of this it's good just to tighten it and just make sure everything is nice and taut. So now we're on our next set of papers, so again go in through the right hand hole. And then this time around the right hand side of the book and back in through the right hand hole again in through the left hand hole, through the outside of the book, and again around the left hand side, and back in through the left hand hole. But this time, again, because you're at the end of your signature, or your papers, you're staying on the inside of the book, inside of the cover. So we're ready for our next one. So again, in through the left hand hole this time, around the left hand side of the book, back in through the left hand hole, and then out through the right. And this time we're going right to the outside because we've not done this whole section of papers yet. So out through the right hand hole, around the right hand side of the book, and back into the right hand hole. Uh, this time we're finishing that section, so we're staying inside the cover. Okay, so our next section, 
in through the right hand hole, out around the right hand side of the book, in through the right hand hole again, and then in through the left hand hole and right to the outside of the book, around the left hand side of the cover, and through the left hand hole again. And we're ready to start our next section, so we're staying on the inside of the book. Okay, our next section. So in through the left hand hole, around the left hand side of the book, in through the left hole again, out through the right, and going right to the outside of the book, around the right side of the outside of the book, and in through the right hole. Now again, we've just finished this section, so we stay on the inside of the cover. Okay, our final one. So in through the right hand hole, around the right hand side of the book and through the right hole and just a wee reminder just to keep this taut at every single stage of this so you're keeping the threads nice and taut as you go along in through the left hand side of the papers out through the left hand side of the book okay and you're on your final one here so what we do this time is pop your needle through that central thread and again, you're going to tie a knot here. Now, because you've got the needle at this point, actually, before we do that, we're just going to even up the threads. So just use your fingers to work the threads to get them nice and even. Now, just looping the thread around itself, around that central section again, create a loop that you can then put the needle through to create a knot. So that's coming from the left-hand side, around that central section, keeping it nice and taut and creating a knot here and just for safety do a double knot on this one okay. now use your scissors to cut off the tail and ta-da your book is made so there you go with the inside covers all your pages are in place and you've made your book congratulations Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it. We're Craftiosity on social media. And if you'd like to join us for our next kit, head on over to craftiosity.co.uk.